wants to sit in the local assembly, and uh, fortunately, my slightly intemperate remarks last time don't seem to have got in the way of making some progress. Um, now, who is going to talk about this? Uh, Mr. Smith? I don't have anything to add to, to what's been said. I think we have um, something from John, don't we? Yeah. Um, who, who has got some information to add to this. Mr. Miller. Thank you, Chair. Yes, thank you. Um, well, members will recall that there uh, was a request for various items of information to be brought back. Uh, that was three weeks ago. Um, so the report sets out um, some information in relation to the issues that were sought. Um, and I think the, the key thing of concern was the issue of obviously of the rebuilding of the pub. And the council um, sent a letter to Owners, various owners of partners with an interest in the land, uh, requiring them to um, set out in accordance with the Planning Commission in 2010 their intentions. Uh, they've written back uh, sort of early last evening with a response indicating that they will be doing that. Uh, so there is still a long way to go, but uh, a good start in terms of that. Chris, do you want to...? Yes, if I um, Speaking as chair of the local assembly, um, I think that's good news. That's very good news, John, that they do want to get back on site and rebuild the pub because that's, that's the momentum from Sydney and from the assembly. So I think that is very good news. Um, clearly, we, um, we want to make sure that we uh, continue uh, to have that dialogue, and it may be... Um, Certainly as Chair of the Sydney Assembly, I join you in further meetings with Pure Lake so that we can make sure that that moves along as speedily as possible. Our, the date of our next Sydney Assembly is the 6th of December, so I'm sure we'd all be delighted if I could report back that uh, work had resumed on site, that there was activity. Um, subject, of course, uh, as you know, I've corresponded um, a couple of minor things about the enlargement of the basement, so we need variation, etc. I don't know if um, that's been uh, in any way commented upon, but um, I think it's safe to say um, Sydney will be delighted to see uh, the resumption and uh, the, the sight of scaffolding going up. I, I saw, uh, I had sight of that letter shortly before the meeting, as you said, it only came in uh, last evening and uh, was, of course, written by lawyers. Um, uh, I interpreted it has meaning that scaffolding was likely to go up next week. I just sort of wanted to reassure myself that there wasn't some caveat in there that uh, my non-legally trained mind had failed to pick up. Um, well, if I can comment on that, um, there doesn't appear to be a caveat as such. I think uh, the issue from everybody's point of view is that uh, we would all like to speak, see speedy progress, but we actually want to all understand what the nature of that progress is going to be. So uh, I think putting out scaffolding next week may not be the right answer. I think we need to see the detail of what they're going to do, make sure, as Councillor Best says, that any minor changes are dealt with uh, in due process and that all of that is covered. So we, I think we want, we want to go as fast as we reasonably can, but not so fast that there are fears that it will go wrong again. So that's, I think that's what we want to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you can be reassured that the legal foot won't come off the penny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not sure there's very much more we can say. Councillor Curran, can, can I ask you what capacity you Is this as ward member? Uh, as a ward member, yes. And uh, to clear an interest as a member of camera as well. Yeah. Anyway, um, very briefly, it's the concerns of people are is that we have been here before, so what Kath has just said is, is very <coughs> helpful. We, they were taken to court, they said we've been bad people, we're really sorry, and we'll rebuild it. And that's what they said the last time we got to the legal aspect of things. And we really don't want that to happen again. So if, if this try and start negotiating and leave some buts, 
I know there are some, presumably always some delicacy around this, but all I'm doing is urging uh, officers and those uh, cabinet members with the responsibility, please don't give an inch. We just want to see the pub built now. And it's, it's been running longer than the mousetrap, it seems, uh, you know, in terms of uh, theatrical episode, and we'd like to see it over. Could I just ask one a specific question, because someone members of the society wanted to know, what exactly is it they have said they will do? We're not, we weren't, they weren't quite clear about that. Can I ask, what is it they said in their letter they will do? They will start doing what? Yeah. John, can you help us with that? Uh, yes, their intention is to uh, rebuild the pub in accordance with the 2010 Planning Commission that's granted. But their letter does refer, uh, as Councillor Best has said, to a number of issues which will need to be addressed because it's not possible to build it exactly as was. Um, there's a basement, there's an issue of a, of a window which was at the back of the pub where I think the area has now been tiled. So I don't think these are, are issues which are necessarily a problem. I think they're things where people have a, have a view and that, that's an agreed view. But uh, we just want to make sure that everything that they do and the amendments that they need to make are all done in full public knowledge and in a way which is understood by everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, we uh, uh, await developments. Uh, uh, I'm going to obviously uh, note the content of that report, but clearly if uh, we don't make progress as hoped, then uh, this will need to come back uh, here again for further uh, consideration. But that sounds... Uh, like we might be making some progress. Okay, uh, that concludes item 5.